Today, we are going over food manufacturing pest control basics in under five minutes. For pest control, we are going over four basic concepts today. What are we even worried about? Well, there are several pests and they carry some nasty things that can make you sick. Secondly, what is in a program to control pests? Third, what should you do when you see a pest? Report it. Fourth, then over time, what is the report information saying? What are the trends? Any animal or creature that is not supposed to be there is considered a pest. The major pests are rodents, insects, and birds. Each of these can carry foodborne pathogens on their legs, feet, body, or even contribute through feces. Several plagues in the past, such as the bubonic plague, were carried by pests. Bacteria such as Salmonella, Listeria, Yersinia, and many others can hitch a ride on their feet, or in their body, or in their feces. Safe to say, we don't want these critters anywhere near our food, because they might be carrying a deadly pathogen, or one that's going to make your customers very sick. Okay, cool. We know pests are bad. What are we going to do about it? Are we going to bring in our cat sprinkles from home to manage the pest control program? Of course not. There should be a combination of rodent bait stations outside the facility and rodent traps inside the facility. ILTs or insect light traps for the bugs. Uh, these are just tools not meant to be catch-alls. Uh, avoid insecticutors as they will fry the bugs and spray those body parts everywhere. Lighting is crucial. Pests love the dark and undisturbed places and it helps with inspecting. Many states even have lighting requirements in their code. It is necessary to keep down any overgrowth so that you are not harboring pests right outside your facility. Storage. There needs to be rodent runways so you can properly inspect those areas and it's a predictable path where you might be able to see rodent activity and then take action. Also, are your door sweeps intact? Do your doors shut by themselves or do they get stuck? Do you have proper screening on small outdoor piping or tubing entering your plant? How's your air ventilation? Do you have a pest control provider? Are they trained? Are they licensed? Are they documenting findings and corrective actions? Chemicals. If you are using bait stations or some other type of mitigation, are these chemicals approved? Do you have SDSs? These are all considerations for a good pest control program. We already discussed why pests are a problem and what goes into a good program. Now, let's talk about how to report things properly. First, let's talk about what we don't want to do. A couple things you don't want to do. You don't want to scream and then just run away. You don't want to ignore it. You want to report it. Here are the four reporting basics for pest control. But before I start with that, most plants have a pest control program and a pest control provider, but they don't properly train employees what to report when they see it. Most of the time, a pest control provider is only at the facility for about an hour once a week, if that. Plant employees are there all days of the operation. Basic number one, what did you find? What is it? Is it a cockroach? Also, what type of cockroach? Is it an American cockroach? German cockroach? If you don't know, take a picture. Also, where did you find it? Was it on the second floor? Third floor? First floor? Near a bathroom? Details are crucial. Third, what was the date? Did you find it at 8 a.m. or 5 p.m.? All of these details will help with root cause analysis. Lastly, how many did you find? If you saw one, okay, not so bad. If you saw 300, then you have an infestation. The last topic of pest control is trending. You may see the same problem over and over again. So taking a big deep breath and evaluating where you are seeing the pests, what season, what time, what part of the building, and then establishing what we call a heat map, this will give you a better big picture of what's actually going on in the plant and how to fix it. Because we are about prevention, not reaction. This data will help give you an approach as to where you might need mitigation resources or where you should investigate further. Also, use customer complaints to your advantage as well. Hopefully, you're not getting customer complaints about bug parts or spider webs or anything like that. But if you are, you should investigate it 
thoroughly. An example of how a good pest control program should work is there was a plant that was located in the Midwest. They started seeing instances of a Florida woods cockroach showing up. Florida woods cockroaches are not native to that area, so they evaluated their suppliers and found out one of them came out from Florida. They established corrective actions, and then they didn't see any more instances of Florida woods cockroaches. To recap, there are several potential pests that can enter your plant, including birds, rodents, and insects. Each one of them can carry nasty pathogens or bacteria that can make you sick or your customers sick. Secondly, do you have a program in place? Third, do you have a way of reporting it and making it very efficient? Fourth, do you have trending? Are you seeing trends over time and are you taking action and seeing the big picture?